Good day, guys. Welcome to Little Talks. Where little things matter. Okay, today we bring to you another interesting, like it. Tr- you know, trust me now. When I say interesting, like uh, I'm, I'm happy you know, about as it. In, oh my! I, w- I wish we could, you know, stand and but then, Ogba Joko, like hmm. we need to be seated for this one. Yes. Sir. So like, um, there's this post that we saw and decided to, you know. Um, get people's opinion about it, yes. but before then, don't forget your wrist. My name is Kazima Molala, and my name is Ihato Fit. Okay, down to the post, yes, guys. So, I think I'm just going to be reading the post out loud here. Okay, I have it on my phone, and some of your comments it was on WhatsApp. This was done on WhatsApp, yes. So, WhatsApp. some of your comments are on the phone, so we're just going to be reading out some of your comments to see how you guys see it. So the post is between a girl who stood by like, you. Mm, that who is in bold letter. Like W H O. Like you don't understand. It's the capital in bold. <laughs> who stood by you when you had nothing, and a girl who helped you become somebody. Let me read who it again. Will you marry? Let me read it again. That's uh, this is not dear. <laughs> between a girl who stood by you. When you had nada, like nothing, mm-hmm. and a girl who helped you to become somebody, who will you marry? That's the question. Who will you marry? You both should start answering like this. And you know, that particular uh, post has brought so many opinions and answers. Yeah. Some interesting and some meaningful. Like it was, it was worth reading and really like the. The, you know, and there's some that's really attracted some co- like yeah. a different kind of conversation. Exactly. Yes. And so. some were just outright funny, like very, very funny. Reply, very funny. You know? Hey, <laughs> I think this topic is actually um, a very controversial topic. Yeah, it because is. this is where you get individual personalities and perspective. But now, you know, on these notes, wait. I must okay. say that we respect everybody's decision on what to um, answer you gave. That is. We respect your own perspective, so that is it. So you yeah, like I feel, I feel you know this particular post is a two-way thing. Definitely. It depends on the situation. So many like circumstances. Yeah, the, the different circumstances to this question, and I mean, I got that question a lot. And when people ask, yeah. okay, explain what your situation. What situation? Like, what like is it that I'm happened? still in the relationship with the person who stood by me yeah. before, like meeting someone who helped me or? I don't understand, like, you know, the questions and no, trust me, it's a very interesting one. Yes, wow. so um, should I go first with the Please first do. comment? Okay, the first reply I got was, the person was like the first one, which was, which is um, the, in, the girl that stayed with him or her when he had nothing. And I was like, why? So it was not like, if that person have not, if the person have not been there for me, this one will not see me or would not even want to help me. So she was trying to say that it is the girl that stayed by her, him when she had nothing that actually brought by the opportunity by which that other girl saw him to help him. Like, I don't know, but uh, I don't it's related. Like, don't you understand? She's yeah. trying to say that if the girl was not there, uh-huh. the, girl, the, other, the new girl what? wouldn't have seen him to help him. Really? Yeah, it could Why be in the situation. Why don't know each other? I don't understand. Like, what yeah, if... definitely they don't know each other, but you know, let's just see it from a different okay, her point angle, of her view, own yeah. point of view. She's just okay. saying that if this one was not there, this one would not have I've seen, seen yeah, at yes. all. I was not like, okay. And she went on to say, marriage is not a contract, it's a lifetime. And because what goes around comes around. Now, just because somebody, according to our context, just because somebody helped you when you just needed it at that point doesn't mean the person who stood by you all along is not important. I think that's what I got from her con- content and I totally respect her perspective, you know. Which, coming from how she saw it, to me, the perspective is not really that bad. It's okay. So. What's okay, your yeah. Actually, let me start with this, this conversation I had like after. After the person answered, we had to meet to 
continue it, like to continue the discussion. Okay. And he said, like, depends on the situation. First, is he still with the person who stood by him? And like the other person helping, the person asking for marriage in return, or is or is it dating the both of them at the same time? Mm. Like it depends on where this um, how the question is what side the person is coming from and in that case he said he would go for the person who helped him become someone okay why he said okay he likes someone who like who would make him become better like, he sees that the competition Bro, the person yeah. would help him become, become better the person would always like compete with him to become a better yeah. person and when it's okay he also asked when you say help you become someone, is it money wise, like giving you money? Is it like helping you start a business or helping you become someone in the sense that she sees potentials in you and she helped bring out these potentials that helped you secure more opportunity or more wins? So that in that case, you would really go for someone, you know, someone that sees potential. He could be with some, is that he could he could be with the person that stood by him for years. And still remain in that same situation with mm. no change because mm. <coughs> wow. marriage is not really all about loving, loving. Like yeah. love fades someday, and you need mm. something to you know hold the marriage. Okay. So you can you can't be you can't marry someone because of just love. What wow. are they both? How are they helping each other to improve? She's she's with him because. She's like she probably she doesn't want money. She doesn't want. She's just attracted to him or stuff like. They are in that relationship, but they are not doing. They're not helping each other become a better person. So probably they would be. They will still remain in that stagnant. They will be stagnant in that mm. position. This one is deep. Not it's deep. Not, uh, <laughs> it's deep. Like, so yeah, I, like that. I that's really, why you know. Oh my that's goodness, a, I, mean, deep. I was so interested when he was this typing. When he was, I was like, guy, you know what? We we got to just meet. Like, we got to see talk this wow. thing. So, like, it was a really deep conversation we had. And I, as in, I learned, you know, I got another point And, I, you know, seeing this from another person's point of view, but wait, it was really interesting. But dissecting what you just said, mm-hmm. coming from that person's point of view, mm-hmm. he said that the girl might not really be there for the money or mm-hmm. whatsoever. He's just attra- she's just attracted to me. I must say, like, I don't see it possible for... A girl to just be attracted to a guy just because now the guy is struggling and, and you are there, there. Just, you are just there just mm-hmm. because I feel like there must be something there be something even if there is something there, like yeah something, there okay was, actually there. value the guy has actually is yeah making, I, I I was like okay what if the person who has who stood by you See, like she sees the same potential, yeah. but she doesn't have the right connection <laughs> to help Definitely, you yeah. become someone. Mm-hmm. Other than the other person who is probably oh, already okay. a rich person, or her father is already a senator, has, she has the right connection to you know help you. That what would you still do? And he said is that you're like ah, hello. <laughs> he said okay, that I can't really remember how he put it, but he was like that would be a very tough thing for him to pick. But still, and still, you it would go for, go for someone who helped you become a better person, and uh-huh. that's it. But that's his own perspective, mm-hmm. and we respect it as usual. Now, going on to another comment I had. This is just outright funny. So the person was like, "Stood by me doing what? Is she a police officer?" <laughs> and then he had the smiley emoji all around, like, "Wow, she stood like." I don't know. It's probably some guys did not have anybody who stood by them when they were actually struggling. So no, actually be some did, but probably one difficult. thing led to another and they and broke, they broke up, up before the person became someone. Yeah. And whoever the next person coming already met a already like he met a ready made man. man. So that's that's it. Now um to the next one. Hmm. This one said neither like it's he's not going for any of them any of or them. rather he would marry both but and i said why <laughs> I, I also <laughs> had a comment like that both of them yeah he said yeah. is that none or both and i said why he said you know um okay like so as not to cause trouble like someone who has been with me when i had nothing should mm. be able to you know like should not just suffer in pain wow. and someone who helped me become someone 
would definitely help me do, would definitely work together to become a better person together or something like that. And then yeah, I didn't get that. Okay, so I think that was, that's that. Yeah. And to the next one. Well, I have another one here and I think it's quite similar to the first one I did. Okay. And I, the person was like, I know if the girl stood by me when I had nothing, had left, I won't see the girl who helped me become somebody. Case closed. So the person, I think this concept is that girl that stood by him might have left. That was why he saw the other girl that helped him. Helped him. Because if the girl was still there, the other girl would not, like, there won't be any connection he would have. Okay. I think he's coming from uh, the perspective of someone who's loyal, you know. So if he didn't see this girl, if he did, this girl that stood by him yeah. didn't go, he probably won't have anything to do with that other, other person that helped him. So he will go for the other lady that helped him because she's the one on board at that moment. Well, which is fair enough coming from his own point of view. Well, to another funny one. Yeah. This one said, "Now who's a cook? Pass I go marry you." Hey, <laughs> everybody has their own perspective, <laughs> man. Okay, so like. After I think he called and I was like I was like babe see eh? now food with the cocoa mm. now who's a big cook I was like what if both are a very good cook he said forget yeah. both of them will cook the same way now the yeah, person where food sweet pass now you have a phone no end of as the end of discussion wow. so like as I say one man's food is another man's poison definitely your problem is not the same with my problem this one food is his problem you know. <laughs> All right, so going on to the next comment I have over here, and this particular one, I really loved it because we had a really long conversation afterwards. It was a lady, I really loved to mention her name, but for security reasons, I wouldn't. Now, she went on to say, to be honest, if I was the guy, I would choose who helped me become something, you know. Then she went on to say, God did not call a woman to be a suf to be suffer mate, but a help mate. I rest my case. I rise. And, and I was like, oh wow. And nice then one. she went forward to say, thank you for understanding. Many would disagree though. Now, I think why what I got from her own perspective is really, really nice. She said, to be honest, if I was the guy, I would choose the one who helped me. Because God did not call a woman to suffer be so family. Help me. Which means a girl might be there. Um, it's not really all about marrying who or who what is the will of god for your life this girl who is might helping you this feel yeah, the way. exactly this girl might be there all the years all through you are a nice person the girl is a nice person and she stood by you through the struggles and through the storms but it should even the will of god for your life it's not just all about standing there when you had issues I don't think that's able to, you know, sustain a marriage because at this point we are talking on the concept of the relationship part, you know. And that's that's why I tell people. I don't know. To me, I I still believe you need more than just love. Yeah. To, to like to say I do, you need something like you need a conviction. Definitely. You need. I don't know. You need a revelation. Is it? Marriage is not an easy. Marriage will yes, not so always be rosy at all. You would not always feel the butterflies in your tummy. I'm there are sometimes that maybe stomachache. Yes. You don't understand. Like you just have to need. You just. I don't know why this. I don't know, but you know everybody's all about love, love. And you, you get, why did you break up? I don't love him anymore. Like really. Mm -hmm. You don't love me, yeah. brother. So Why did you funny. even go into the relationship in the first place? You should because look how, them. how deep your love can go, how mm -hmm. deep you can sacrifice, and all of that. But really, I really love this point because that is what people, most people, don't look at in their relationship. Is this the? Are you guys working together in God's purpose? Like, are you in sync with God? Mm -hmm. Is this what God wants for you? Even okay, taking it the other way around. An individual might actually help you become something. That doesn't mean you should marry her. That doesn't mean she's the one for you. Because some people just some people are just there to help you. Yeah, they some are, people are there just helpers. Help. Exactly. Because if she's not the one that God actually wants for you, yes, yeah, she will help you, but then you guys will have a long way to go. Marriage is forever and you will start seeing 
issues rising, you know, a lot of Nigerian what, what happens when she stops helping you? Yeah, because you exactly. are going to marry because she helped you, so not because you even love her. Yeah, so what happens if she no longer can help you? Exactly. What happens if there's like the connections that become are beginning to break? Mm. You know, these things are things you need to reason before doing going into anything. You know, I, I had a conversation, I had this conversation with someone, it was on the phone call, like people had to call in because of this topic. And so he went ahead to tell me a Nigerian movie that he watched. And okay, this girl helped him. Actually, in this case, he didn't have any relationship at that point. Okay. But a girl just came along and had the connections and helped the guy. And at that point, the girl was pushing for marriage. But then the girl was always this kind of girl. She 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 doesn't like to be intimidated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she's always on. She wants to be in power. Yes, and that's something the guy couldn't deal with. So most of the times they were fighting, they were having issues. The girl was not calm. She doesn't want to calm down, like at all. She's a no-no go area, some human. So at that point, the, the guy relaxed. I was like, "What am I even doing?" Okay, fine, you helped me, but <laughs> should I die? And she was, he was threatening, "I will take the job from you." He was like, "Fine," because at that point he was not happy. He was not even happy with his life, the job, he was not happy, and everything. He just got tired and was like, I'm done. You can take your job and everything. So what if you marry the girl that actually helps you? Will you be happy? Can you deal with her individuality? So it's not just based on because she... And most people threaten with this stuff, like, you know, any yeah. little way you offense, like... I have After you. all I did when you, you had nothing, when you had I nothing picked you up. You know, I picked you from the gutter. You know? I would, I'll take back the jobs from you. Yeah. I'll take back everything I gave to you. Don't, can you really deal with those things? You, you know, these are, you know, there are little, there are little things you need to consider before making life decisions. Exactly. This is like, this is like, it's not... I don't know, it's like you going for a lifetime sentence, you know? Yes, forever. It's, it's not a two years imprisonment, it's not, it's a lifetime. Like for better, for worse. And that can is. you still, like can you still tolerate, can you still endure that worse? Mm. No, that's, that, those are the questions you need to ask yourself. Now, anyway, someone, okay. before that, I think we'll be going on a short break right now. And when we come back, we'll read the remaining comments. And also, we would share what our personal thought and belief on this topic is. Mm-hmm. So you guys will know. Don't go nowhere. Don't touch the time. Alright guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Like, I'm super duper excited. And as you can see here, we have a guest speaker. Because this topic is deep, like oh deep gone. It's a deep or something. Like I was just expecting you to do that Yoruba stuff, and you actually did. <laughs> like, yeah, give me time. As in, <laughs> you know, you are real for hands. Yeah. As in, we're so blind. we have over here. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Olorun Femi Hi, Olorun Femi. Welcome. And as you know, now you know what we are talking about already. We told, we've told him off camera. Yeah, of course. That's what we do. But then for our viewers that are still joining us for the first time, can you can leave it? Okay, us? so the question is between a girl who stood by you when yeah. you had nothing and a girl who helped you become somebody, who would you marry? No, a girl you who, know? Okay, a girl mm-hmm. who stood by you when you had nothing and a girl who helped you become somebody in life, who would you marry? Yeah. I would actually like, instead of reading out our comments straight off, I would like to ask our guest speaker, like, this is to be live and direct, to tell us from your own perspective. You well, know? sorry, sorry, before that, I don't know, there's this um, comment someone said, and I really think it's, it's one thing to also consider. Yeah. Yeah, the person said, I would marry someone who gives me peace of mind. Mm-hmm. Marriage is not about who helped you or who stood by you. So I think like yeah, peace of mind really is can even be none of them. Exactly. None of them. Exactly. You know? Like yeah, there was one that said he would not marry any of them or rather both. So yeah. It's something. So, so I guess we can who would you marry actually? She stood by you, but I helped you. Maybe I stood by you. <laughs> but I helped you. Like I was there when 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 there was no when we were both sleeping on the mat. No, it's, it's not break up, oh. Like I was, I'm still with you when she came. We're still together. Yeah, when she came, I helped you. I believed in you. 
you i saw potentials and i put in the work i advised you gave you the connection you needed because i saw that you could be better yeah, i was so there for better for worse you, you didn't do it unconditionally it was unconditionally actually so you don't have to marry Kiss close. so who would you marry at the end of the day <laughs> I'll it's stick, obvious. I'll definitely stick by the, the person that was with me through thin and thick. Why? Is it because the person was just with you when things were hard? No, not 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 really actually. So most times um the the presence of the lady yeah. might not even be in this be the source of the very progress in life or the career progress. Mm. It might just be she gives peace of mind. Yeah, like your comment was yeah. yeah. Yes. So so I personally am an hard working person. Mm. So and I also um, critically think about ways to improve my career, improve myself. Yeah. So regardless if a woman is there or not. So but now a, a bad woman would would not bring peace of mind. Mm. So That's true. if a man is dealing with a a bad lady, yeah. Then she's definitely going to reduce his positivity. And mm. that we affect the work and, and everything yeah. around. So so if a lady comes with opportunities and um, other stuff like that, then a man should be able to decide, okay, this is for me yeah. and me alone. And if if um she she's she's doing that just to get marriage, you know, and then then there have to be more questions mm. asked than that. Wow. <clears throat> this is really deep. Awesome. That I like, like that I, I really need to go think about what the answer just said. Like, I don't know. It's <laughs> my goodness. It's, it's deep. I swear you you hear different people's perspective. So faithful. Let's let's hear yours. What's what's my your own perspective? perspective? I'm all about. Like I said, I read the comment on someone who I really really loved her comment. For me, it is that the will of God. Like, is that really what I want to do? Is that really what? The will of God is it's not all about you sticking by me or you helping me out. First of all, how far can I go with you? What are the signs you are giving me? What are the sacrifices I would make for you? What can I do? You, do you understand? I'm so that's to. just that's just. <laughs> <laughs> but really, you know, for me, it doesn't stand. Doesn't take you standing by me and all of that. Um, what what are, what are that things? Okay, you've helped me. What next? I swear. What next? What, you are what do you have to offer? Hmm? What next? What next? What am I doing? Thing. But then, you were saying something and something came to my mind. Now we are looking at it from the man's perspective. Mm -hmm. Who will you marry? Tables could be turned. And if, just imagine if it was the ladies. Like, Okay, you have a guy that stood by you when you had nothing. Please. And then they got guy. Guy something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How I'm many of you I'm have something right now? Actually, as a lady. Well, I would say we are upcoming, actually. There are <laughs> ladies who are working so hard mm -hmm. for themselves. They really they are not looking now to say my man has to do this, my man. Yeah. I want to be able to achieve this. We just have to understand that in this world we live in, women are not really given so many opportunities, but we have to fight for it before we get these opportunities. So I would say it's kind of difficult, although we have women breaking boundaries and breaking protocols mm -hmm. for those stuff. But I believe that there are women who are actually doing stuff for things to happen in their own life. So as a lady, you can add value to your own self. But First of all, why why would they be there and nothing is even happening? The, the circumstances is actually confusing to some extent, you know. I got talking with some individuals and they also all made me to understand this on a broader, you know, perspective. Like the help doesn't really have to be all about money or job or opportunities. It could also be, you know, making you focused on what you want to achieve. And all of that, you know. Moving on, though, I'd like to read this comment. So, this person was like the second option, of course, and I was like, why? And he was like, she will be very helpful to the family because of that quality in various ways, whether I'm there or not. So, I, see, people are thinking far. 
this guy is already going to his extended family you know the, the family that he made their kids and all of that because probably he feels like for a lady to, to be, be able, able to, to help you, there someone. is something, Definitely you know. She is someone. Like, yeah, you, are, def- you, are, you, you can't, can't give what it. you don't have. Exactly. Yeah. So that will be able to sustain them even when things are So when on. he is down, she would still be able to yeah. you know, take, take things off from the them. family. Then he went ahead to say the first option isn't so bad, especially if she has other great qualities. But based on those factors presented, option two all the way. I was not like, ah, ah, sharp guy, you. He said, oh man, nobody wants nobody wants who no go who go be disadvantaged, like a liability or that. And he was like, everybody wise up. So that's really a nice one from that perspective. So going to you, who would you marry? Hmm. You are thinking about it. Well, my kind of person, I don't think it's about you making me a person or hmm. Standing like who's that? Who stood in help? Exactly, who I know. Right. In help? First, okay, I'm not really the I'm not really the person that would you know what's God will for first thing. You know, I, let's know what what's our will for each other first. Yeah, you understand? Because there are times I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where God is telling you this is the person, but you are not like you're in no way attracted to the person. Definitely. Yeah. So I try to like figure out. What is our will? Like, what is my will? Like, what is what will do we have for each other first? You really want to know your will before you know God's will. I need to know. As in, I need. What? Okay. Chill. What do you mean by our will? I, I want to understand. No, not not like what. Not what God. You can't compare what God will is. Of course not. Thank you. Jesus. When I say our. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I say. Okay, yeah, okay, kind of now, okay. Like, I need to I need to be I need to be kind of attracted to you first. I need to like what ex- what do what should what should we expect like our expectation? There should be this kind of connection first. I'm I'm really a I should, time and, and then you know you. first I think i would also go with my heart. I don't want to know if you if you help me become someone, help me and the thing is people are God sent first helping me become someone did you do it to get married to me exactly like are you are you helping me because of what you want in return and trust me if that is the case the marriage won't last at all mm. so i don't think i would go with someone like that then stand by me and stand by me you know people people can stay someone can stay by you and still be acting funny very funny so yeah, staying yeah. by me doesn't doesn't guarantee yeah. our marriage. It yeah. doesn't at all. Have you not seen people in a relationship for eleven years and still end yeah. up not marrying yeah. each other? So it's not. I don't know. Really Suffering with a person is not a like. It's not a certificate not, for a wedding. Neither is it a virtue. It's not exactly. It's not. It's not I, tr- I don't know why. I don't know why I see people say, um, "I would rather suffer with my man." Like let's start from the scratch. And you know, become beauty to become someone. Why are you built for suffering? I don't understand. Are you built no, no, no. to suffer? No, I have to I have to take that. I have to really shut shoot to that. Okay. Because I believe this the that statement mm-hmm. it has so many contests. And so yeah. I just leave it like that. You, you can actually there are some people who when people tell you their stories, you know that it's not easy. They actually started from somewhere. Now your your starting might be from the total scratch, mm-hmm. you know. Others might be from the way midway. top. Others might be the midway and all of that. So I wouldn't just say, well, for me, kind of, anyway, go like not come so scratch come midway. <laughs> the, if I had ready made, anyone goes. But yeah. then I think I'll just follow my art and probably after following my art first and praying for it. I'm a very I'm this kind of person that trust me. Even if I'm locked in love with you yeah. and god is saying no trust me it's a no for me <laughs> and that's Definitely, why that's why yeah. most times but it's always hard for because i've been in that situation where someone is telling me this is god's will for you like this is god's mm. this is god's person for you but like it's not it's not even someone i would want to be a friend to mm. not talk of want wow. to settle down with okay so like i don't know it's it's really a complicated stuff for me and it's really going to take lots of thoughts yeah. before deciding like who to go with someone that's been with me and someone who helped me now depends on who, who has sense pass now who gets sense pass i will follow um, uh, <laughs> this is why when we started i was like everybody and their own individual perspective mm-hmm. and mind you we 
definitely respect whatsoever perspective you are coming from because we are different so that's okay we are all just giving our individual sincere opinions now guys oh my goodness this has been so an amazing section and i think i'll really love to oh, yeah. i'm a love person <laughs> so I'll, I'll follow my ads <laughs> I think we'll just have something to say. For me, going first, it's for me all about. I'm, I'm a God factor person. I, will, I like have to hear what God is saying towards this person, and I'll also have to see if the person. Okay, know, now quick one. You have to hear God. Like, how do you hear God personally you, through your pastor? That's it. Personally, okay, I was so I was, I was going to say something like that. Oh my, <laughs> personally, I have to know for myself. Okay. You know, first of all, it's about you finding your relationship mm-hmm. with God and all of that. But then, guys, it's not all about who stood by you or who helped you. It's all about how compatible are you guys. People are there to help you build you up, and people are there to actually help you become someone. So doesn't really guarantee anything on the long way. So that's it for me. What do you have to say? Um, I have to say that um, we should also look. We should also consider another perspective to look at it. So the, this process, but this perspective is about um, the length by which people, most especially ladies, sacrifice, self sacrifice, yeah. in order to help mm. their partners. Mm. So my opinion is that everybody should lead themselves when they are in a relationship. Build yourself, build your career, um, put yourself first, you first, you first on the So, in, in um, at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, you will find yourself in a good place. Mm. Not that you lose everything. Wow. Thank you. That's like, I really love this point. Like, that should, that should that should have just been around. Like, yeah, you guys, you don't need any go. topping of that. My that that's like a full cake with icing. Really, package. you should actually develop yourself. I swear. That's it. Anyways, Lola, what do you have to say? Well, for me, you know, I'm this kind of person. I like fulfilling all righteousness. That when I leave, but like when we decide to end things, we both know we are ending it for our good. Like yeah. this thing is not just working. Like there's still some comma and full stops that is not going to make us like last longer. So. I think I'll just go with someone I can see myself with in the next 10, 20, 50 years. Yeah. And that's like happily, not happily. That's it. All right, guys, is a wrap on this section, and we are really happy to have you all. Shout out to all the individuals, beautiful, beautiful individuals that sent, sent us a comment. Let us know if you'd like us to do more of this kind of content on our next videos and also our gratitude goes to our very handsome guest of honor to this a long friend me yes and we remain your host ihato faith and kazim just don't you just so you don't forget the name of our guest please Hello, friend, yes guys